Now with the forthcoming 100th anniversary of World War One just around the corner, there's been all of a sudden on eBay UK these shot through bullet hole coins appearing on eBay. Some have just got bullet holes in them, some have got bullets wedged in them with spurious, in this case, Combray uh, stamped on it. Normally you get various slogans and sayings or dates stamped on them. They are all fakes. They've all been made yesterday and I just honestly don't know how people believe these are original. I'll show you one guy that's been selling them, but this is one that's on eBay. It's got six days to run. It's at £4.99. It's, it's listed as a trench art shot, 1918 penny bullet and Betty Cambride, George V copper coin relic. Now, what's the chances of a British soldier having a coin in his pocket that's been shot right the way through? Now these are faked, I have it on good authority that how they fake them is, they take a strip of wood, they have a groove carved down the strip of wood, they place penny coins down the groove, put them on a rifle range and fire bullets at them. They have all got three or three bullets in them. Okay, so that's one that's appeared with Cambrai stamped into it. Now what we'll do, we'll go back there, this is another one. Trench art, World War One, World War Two, shot penny, dated 1901, bullet relic stamp, military. Now it's a a British penny dated 1901 with a bullet lodged in it, and it's stamped 1939 with a military broad arrow stamp. Now, what's the chances of that being completely genuine? A broad arrow stamp on a penny. Uh, somebody is obviously stamping these up, putting them on a rifle range and firing three or three bullets through it. Okay. Now we'll have a look. This is currently sitting at £10.51, right? And we'll get up the pictures. They are obviously fakes, but people are buying them. Now if you go to this guy's feedback. Okay, we'll have a look at this guy's feedback. And we'll see that these genuine ones... He shot, he sold rather, a Boer War trench art shot coin for £12.50. Okay. That's the Boer War allegedly trench art shot through coin. And it just happens to have the word Mafeking stamped on it. Okay. Another one that the guy sold is... Trench art shot coins, World War II, frontline battlefield, rifle, detecting find, uncleaned. Now these made £32, 60 odd dollars. There's, there's a lot of unlucky soldiers in World War I. They've all been shot through coins that have been in the pockets. And the guy's also sold. He's obviously got a roar and trade in them. Because he's also sold... He's, a trench art shot, stamped penny, World War One, World War Two, battlefield relic coin, bullet head. This one made seventeen pounds. Okay, that one made seventeen pounds, and it's got the word love and lust with a bullet in it, and that's supposed to be genuine. Seventeen pounds that's sold for, and again. Trench art, three shot pennies, unclean with a bullet lodge detecting fine front line. This made £32, $64. Now how people are conned into buying these things, I do not know. But they are just brand spanking new. So this is just an example of the shit that's been invading eBay within the past couple of months or so. Trench art, World War One relic, four shot pennies from Western Front, Belgium find. These made £31, $62. Been a lot of unlucky soldiers in the First World War being shot through pennies. All complete and utter fakes. And this guy has sold absolutely dozens of them. This one made 43 pound 
which is $86. Trenchard pennies, bullet detecting finds, Ypres, second Ypres war relic. So they're all World War One related and they are all complete duffers. £43 they made. 24 bids. So how people are conned into buying shit like this, I just don't know. So this is the kind of rubbish you have to wade through on the likes of eBay to find decent stuff. And all these shot through bullet coins, don't buy any. They are all fakes. You are wasting your money.